One of the first signs that you have made it is your ride. Owning a flashy set of wheels, expensive sports car, or big comfortable limousine is a sure sign that you're successful, rich, and possibly famous. For decades, success has been measured by the car you own. Most people don't feel complete until they buy an over-the-top car and proudly drive it everywhere. So what do you do when you desperately need an expensive looking set of wheels, but you can't afford the real thing? That answer is simple. You should buy a car from this list. Many are previously expensive luxury models that, with the help of depreciation, managed to come down to reasonable price levels. These cars are attainable to a much wider audience. You'll be amazed how many cool and prestigious cars you can buy for the price of an ordinary mid-sized family sedan, or even a used compact car. And yes, there's even a Ferrari you can get for under $30,000 on this list. So here are 7 cheap cars that will make you look rich. The 2016 BMW 2 Series The BMW 2 Series continues to be a fan favorite and is still one of the cheapest models offered by BMW. It does also come with all the style, class, and clout that BMW is well known for, and it looks like it would cost a lot more than it really does. The 2 Series retails for just $34,000, and a 2016 model can be purchased for just $19,000, which is a steal for the BMW class and design that's been long associated with top-tier luxury. The 2 Series may not have the power of more expensive models, models, but they sure look good, and making nice looking cars is one of the things that BMW is best at. The 2016 Audi Q3 Audi's a big name when it comes to luxury, and everybody knows how expensive they are. Or they think they do. The ID Q3 is one of the more cheaper models of the brand, but it also looks really expensive. It probably has something to do with those four rings, but it could also be that modern and powerful visual design. While the car looks expensive and certainly looks great, the price tag looks even better, costing you only $32,900 for a brand new car. Not to mention you can get a used 2016 model for just $14,000. Now that's a good deal. Driving a Q3 will certainly turn heads and have people guessing the size of your bank account. The 2014 Mercedes-Benz CLA Mercedes-Benz is synonymous with power, luxury, and wealth, and the CLA holds up all the high standards set by previous models. While it only has 200 horsepower, it does get great gas mileage and looks amazing. And of course, driving one makes you look like a millionaire. The CLA is cheaper due to its lack of power, and it's the rich-looking everyday model for Mercedes. It comes with a price tag of only $32,700, and you can get a 2014 model for just $13,000, which is way cheaper than your average Mercedes. The 2017 Jaguar XE Jaguar is one of the kings when it comes to luxury cars, and they've been known as such ever since they came on the market, but they've also been known to be very expensive as well, until now. The new X3 comes with other luxury and expensive style as other Jaguar models, but it doesn't come with a high price tag. The X3 has an MSRP of just $35,000, and a used 2017 model could be had for just $13,000, which is far cheaper than other models. The 2013 Tesla Model S the full-size electric Tesla Model S is a bit of a status symbol, and most people don't realize just how inexpensive they could be, making it a great addition to this list. The Tesla Model S comes standard with a 60 kilowatt battery, with a range of 210 miles, a top speed of 130 miles per hour, and can go from 0 to 60 in just 5.5 seconds. The starting MSRP is $66,000, but taking advantage of tax credits, lower running costs, and the fact that you can get a used model for less than $30,000, the Tesla Model S will make you look rich for pennies on the dollar. The 2011 Cadillac CTS-V the CTS-V is Cadillac's take on a newly refined, high-performance sedan. It's the upgraded version of the CTS, and has been around since 2004. There are three different body styles available, and they all have a pushrod OHV V8 engine, paired with a sport-tuned suspension. These cars are fast, sleek, and most importantly, inexpensive. They're much more affordable than their competitors, like the Audi RS6, BMW M5, the newer M5, not the one mentioned before, and Mercedes E63. A second the second-generation model CTS-V comes equipped with a supercharged 6.2-liter V8 engine, producing 556 horsepower, reaching 0 to 60 in just 3.9 seconds. Although these cars start at $60,000, you can find a used model for nearly half that, costing you only $30,000. The 2007 Maserati Quadroporte 
One of the most interesting super luxury sedans is the Maserati Quattroporte. This big prestigious four-door sedan has a powerful engine, an elegant yet sporty design, and uncompromised luxury. And of course, it also has a high price tag, with a 2007 model coming in with a price of $122,000 when it was first introduced. However, today you can find a 2007 model for around $12,000, which is obviously a steal. Imagine showing up in a luxury sedan with a name that's hard to pronounce. There isn't anything more upscale than that. The 2003 Porsche 911 Cabriolet who would have thought it was possible to get a Porsche 911 for under six digits? These high-performance rear-engine classic sports cars have been available since 1963 and are the epitome of boxer engine goodness, besides maybe the Porsche Boxster itself. These cars are cold favorites for modifying for races, rallies, and other competitions. The 911 was named fifth in the International Car of the Century poll in 1999. It's one of the oldest sports cars still in production today, and one could be yours for the low price of $30,000 if you look hard. The turbo S Cabriolet was introduced in 2001. It has more power than a traditional turbo, can reach 0 to 60 in 3.9 seconds, and has a top speed of 189 miles per hour. Brand new, the 2003 911 Cabriolet would run you a cool $181,000. Today, however, you can actually find other 911s from the early 2000s for less than $30,000, making you look rich for a very low price. The 2017 Fiat 124 Spider Abarth Fiat isn't typically known for their high-end luxury sports cars, but this beauty is the exception. The Fiat 124 Spider is a front-engine, rear-wheel drive roadster that has been in production since 2016. It's based on the Mazda X5 Roadster and was manufactured alongside it. It has the same platform, interior, and mechanisms as the MX-5, but it also has a Fiat turbocharged multi-air 1.4-liter i4 engine, updated shocks, and a unique design. Given its small engine, it only runs at 168 horsepower and has a top speed of around 144 miles per hour. Yet this luxury car still looks great, and you can get one almost new for around $23,000. The 1988 Ferrari Mondial. You probably thought you couldn't get a Ferrari for the price of a Toyota Camry, but you're wrong. Introduced in 1980, the Mondial was a successor to the 308 GT4. Despite the fact that the Mondial was more practical and somewhat cheaper, it wasn't particularly popular, and today it's one of the rare poorly regarded models in the Ferrari community. Production ended in 1993 after close to 5,000 cars were made. Today, this is one of the cheapest ways to get into a Ferrari. Brand new, this car would cost you $188,000 after factoring in inflation. But today you can actually own this Ferrari for just $30,000. The 2005 Lotus Elise Talk about a luxury car that would make it look like you spent $1.5 million. The Lotus Elise may look like a super luxury car, but it can actually be very reasonably priced. The Elise is a two-seater mid-engine luxury roadster that was first built in 1996. The first models were hand-finished with fiberglass bodies on bonded aluminum chassis, helping keep weight and production costs at a minimum. The first Elise had a top speed of 150 miles per hour, but the 2005 model was perhaps even faster. It was the first Elise to be sold commercially in the US. This car comes with a 1.8 liter i4 engine, had relatively low horsepower, but still moved fast. Brand new, this car would cost you $52,000 after factoring in inflation. Most 2005 models go for around $30,000 and above, but we found one on Auto Trader that was under $28,000, with only 55,000 miles on it. The 2006 Lotus Xtige S if we called the Lotus Elise a super looking car earlier, we may have been wrong, because this is what a supercar should look like. It's a two-door hardcore version of the Elise, and is the bigger engine model of the Lotus family. It uses a V6 instead of the Elise's straight four. The car has been in production since 2000, with all different sorts of variations. The 2006 Xtige reverted back to an i4, a supercharged 1.8 liter Toyota engine that produced 220 horsepower, and was capable of reaching 148 miles per hour. Though it may not be as fast or as powerful as it looks. That fact alone is going to help your budget. This car looks absolutely awesome and will certainly churn heads on the road. Brand new, this car will cost you $76,000 after factoring in inflation. But today, there are a few used models on sale for roughly $40,000. The 1960 Chevy Corvette. 
though we could have put a Dodge Viper or a modern Corvette on this list, because they're both relatively inexpensive for what they are. This list would never be complete without the 1960 Corvette. It is reaching higher price points, that's true, but this luxury car is still in the range of rich looking without actually being rich. The Corvette has been around since 1953, and in those 65 years we've seen countless body styles and designs. This, however, is a C1 first generation Corvette, first introduced in 1953 and left in 1962. It's the classic model of an already classic car. It will be recognized by car enthusiasts wherever you go, and will turn the heads of even the most inexperienced of car enthusiasts. All of this can be had for around $50,000. Well guys, those are 7 cheap cars that will make you look rich. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you like what you see at the channel, subscribe and put post notifications on. You could also follow the channel on Instagram at ModernMuscleYT. I'm Jeff from Modern Muscle, and I'll see ya next time.